Hi, my name is Daniel Keller and I'm the responsible product manager at Angie Refrigeration. On behalf of Angie, I wish you a warm welcome at our headquarters in Lindau. Efficiency, enthusiasm for technology and proximity to our customers are the three key factors that guides our day-to-day -day activities. That's because our aim is to find the most efficient energy solution, which is a perfect match in terms of cooling and heating supply for our customer needs. That's all inspired by our mission in supporting our customers on their zero carbon transition way. With 137 years of refrigeration expertise and a diverse portfolio of products and services, we develop, integrate sustainable and future-proof concepts. In short, the finest in refrigeration and heating comes from NG refrigeration. On the first slide, I would like to represent our portfolio. This comprises heat pumps and chillers with thermal capacities ranging from 50 to 8,000 kilowatt by providing effective temperatures from minus 30 to 110 degrees Celsius. Our response to the mission Zero Carbon Transition as a Service is well established in our portfolio by using either the high efficient oil free magnetic bearing concept in the quantum series or using natural refrigerants such as ammonia in the ammonium series and carbon dioxide in the Tameco series. Thereby a series contains always heat pumps as well as chilled water units. An NG option which enables the usage of waste heat of chilled water units is the heat recovery mode. This option is available for quantum models, air-cooled and water-cooled chillers, which working with the oil-free magnetic bearing concept provided by the Enfus Turbo Core. To further enhance the efficiency of these quantum models, all of them are executed with open flash economizers and available for the A1 classified refrigerants R134A and 530A, as well as the low GVP refrigerant r 12340 ze the maximum recooling, respectively heat recovery temperature that can be reached is 68 degrees for both models, whereas with water-cooled units higher term thermal capacities up to more than 3000 kilowatts are possible. The thermal capacities of the air-cooled units counts up to 1600 kilowatts. Both models for sure have integrated the infinitely control of cooling and heating capacity as well as a customized recooling condenser. This means modification according to the on-site requirements are possible. The implementation of quantum series with heat recovery mode requires certain hydraulic precautions. This means the integration of a three-way valve in the heat recovery circuit is a prerequisite for the control of the warm water outlet temperature there. Thereby, the arrangement and the sizing of the heat recovery condenser in the refrigerant circuit guarantees a single operation mode of both condensers as well as a mixed operation of both. Hence, an infinitely control of the heating capacity is possible without affecting the chilled water supply. Coming to our first application case. A customer plans to expand his biogas plant. It's planned to double the biogas production which is done by building further biogas digester tanks, a new biogas upgrading plant and a new gas boiler. Part of that expansion includes a heat recovery system which can cool down the digested substrate and through a heat pump export that heat energy to the local district heating system. Danfoss and NG has been selected to deliver the chiller and heat pump system. The system consists of one chiller and one heat pump unit. Thereby, per definition, the chill is controlled by the chilled water outlet temperature at the evaporator. The heat pump is controlled by the warm water outlet temperature at the condenser. Under normal operation, they are considered as being connected in series. The digested substrate has a temperature of 45 degrees when it leaves the digester tanks. The substrate is to be cooled to below 15 degrees before it's pumped to the post storage tanks. Approximately 1,378 cubic meters a day of manure will be cooled down. The cooling system is planned to run 24-7. The cooling of the substrate is done through two slurry water heat exchangers working in parallel. These heat exchangers are supplied by chilled water at 9 degrees 
temperature by the energy chiller. The chilled water is pre-cooled by a heat pump supplied by NG, where the temperature of the district heating water returning to the biogas plant at approximately 35 degrees and is preheated by the chiller to 52 degrees is increased to approximately 67. The warm water is then sent through another heat exchanger connected to the existing biomass boiler and the temperature is there boosted further to 80 to 90 degrees before it's sent back to the local district heating grid. The overall efficiency grade of the system counts up to 4.6. Welcome back, now in the machinery room of NG refrigeration. In my background you see two ammonium heat pumps. These devices supplying our headquarters with heat by using the natural refrigerant ammonia. Here geothermal energy is used as a heat source and transferred to higher temperatures via the heat pumps to the storage tank and the underfloor heating. Each heat pump contains a piston compressor driven by a frequency controlled motor and can provide up to 170 kilowatt of heat at a temperature level of 45 degrees. The ammonia filling quantity is optimized to less than 10 kilograms. So the demands on the engine room equipment in relation to the refrigerant ammonia are minimized. In addition, the enclosure acts as a sound insulation. Now, in the lobby of Engie, you see in front of me the Temeco water-to-water -water heat pump reaching capacities from 40 to 1400 kilowatts using the A1 classified natural refrigerant carbon dioxide. This model particularly has installed eight piston compressor and is the biggest that we can provide to our customers. In comparison with other refrigerants, the carbon dioxide is particularly suitable for high pressure lifts in just one step, meaning cooling and heating production with a single device is possible at those conditions. Also, large temperature spreads of the secondary medium at a gas cooler, like they occur in drying processes or in direct domestic water heating systems are in favor. As a heat source, heat from a data center or from the ground or from the air are possible. An application of a Termeco heat pump is shown in this graph, where waste heat from a data center is used to generate a heating output of 370 kilowatt by using the Termeco heat pump HHR360, thereby 25 degree cooling water from the data center is used to generate 70 degree heating water using the Temeco heat pump. The 70 degrees heating water is fed into a local heating network of the new urban district. The peak heat demand and the base load are completely covered by the waste heat potential of the data center. A connection to the existing high temperature district heating network offers flexibility in the system and covers peak demands. This brings me to the end of our presentation. I hope you enjoyed it and you gain a lot of new information. On behalf of Venture Refrigeration, I wish you all the best. Stay tuned and stay healthy.